Many of you have asked for it in the comments, and of course, we love to hear feedback from our viewers. Today, in our Darts Throw Decoded series, we're looking at the throwing technique of 2018 world champion Voltage Rob Cross. It will be a special episode because we have once again discovered details that you may not have noticed before. Let Cross's throw inspire you, and maybe you can discover something that will make your throw better. Have fun with Darts Decoded Rob Cross Throw. You probably already know it. First, we take a look at how Rob Cross stands at the Aki. And here we immediately notice the first, but very important detail of his throwing rhythm. Before Cross takes his stance, he taps his right foot against the Aki exactly three times. We have already talked about the pre-shot routine in another video. Tapping the Aki is just as much a part of his throw as the actual throwing of his darts. By performing this routine with every throw, it gives him an additional feeling of habit and therefore confidence. The pre-shot routine is an exciting technique, so take a look at our video about it. After the tap, Voltage leans his right foot against the Aki with the outside parallel to the board. Now let's take a look at how Rob Cross grabs his darts. First of all, we can say that this is a rather rare grip technique as Cross actually only grips the darts with two fingers. As we can see here, the index finger rests on the area between the tip and the barrel of the dart. He uses a large area of his thumb to give the dart stability from below in the middle of the barrel. It is also exciting to see that he has placed his middle finger under the tip of the dart rather than on top of it. Try out this grip technique. We did and noticed that the dart flies everywhere but where it should. Now we come to the very distinctive throwing motion. In general, you can say that Cross is one of those players who tends to have more movement in his whole body than other players, such as Ross Smith or Raymond Van Barneveld, who only move their arm. Rob Cross pulls his arm up in front of his face at a very fast pace. As soon as the arm has reached a right angle, Cross incorporates a stopping movement into his throw. After this short intermediate movement, he pulls his arm so far back that he places the flight almost under his chin. From there, he moves his arm forward towards the board to complete the throw by flicking his wrist. Have you ever noticed that you can almost see his entire body shaking when he executes his throw? Keep an eye out for it during the next game. You can see it particularly well on his head and on the left hand in which he holds his darts. We don't know exactly why this is the case. Our guess is that Cross tenses his body so much that this results in the trembling. It is also interesting to note that when Cross throws at a double and misses, he looks at the bullseye to refocus before switching to the next double. So you'll have plenty to watch in Voltage Rob Cross's next match if you haven't noticed before. That was today's edition of Darts Decoded Rob Cross Throw. We hope you enjoyed it, and we were able to give you some insights into his throw that you hadn't noticed before. Let us know in the comments if you can manage a straight throw with his grip technique. If you are interested in the throws of other top players, you are welcome to browse through our videos in the Decoded Throws playlist. We would also be delighted if you gave the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, take a look at our new store. See you next time. Watch, learn, and win.